At last, the mighty adventurer stands before me. To what do I owe this uh, honor? I have been observing your progress since you first stepped foot into my realm. It was only a matter of time before you made your way here. So tell me, why have you come? In life, I was Kresilak, the Black Wolf. In death, I am nothing. A mere shadow cursed to haunt these halls. Mm, why indeed? That is a tale long in the telling. Would you hear it? As a young man, I was a conqueror. I ravaged the lands and brought all who opposed me under my rule. I built a kingdom upon the corpses of my enemies, and I reveled in the glories of war. However, in time my sword grew heavy, my aim less true, and I realized I was growing old. For the first time in my life, I knew fear. Realizing that death would someday claim me, I returned to my homeland. For months, I pondered what course I should pursue in my remaining years. I thought of my kingdom and all that I'd fought to create, but it was meaningless to me. A kingdom lasts a lifetime, but death lasts an eternity. I decided to forsake all that I had wrought in life for a place in the afterlife. I ordered this tomb built in utmost secrecy and squandered the wealth of my kingdom doing so. Upon its completion, I traveled here with my most faithful followers to survey the work. Finding all in order, I slew the workers and buried them in the Vale outside. My faithful followers I sacrificed to become the guardians of this tomb. Finally, I sacrificed myself to my god, hoping to stand at his side in the land of the dead. Little did I know that my actions would instead bind me to these halls for eternity. If it is evil that you seek, then you need look no further. I stand here before you. However, I am not the one who plagues Kaldahar. For that evil, you must look elsewhere. I care not at all whether you believe me, adventurer. I am centuries dead and bound to these halls for eternity. I care even less for the living or their gathering places. If your Kaldahar is beset by evil, it is not of my doing. Go seek your villain elsewhere. Who indeed? I can answer your question, but I require a boon first. Perform a task for me, and I will answer you. Oril, the ice goddess, is worshipped by some here in the cold north. Oril commands her followers to extinguish all fires, to open structures to the cold winds, and to deny warmth a place to gather. As you can see, my tomb would be an abomination to a follower of Aurel. A priestess of Aurel has stood at the threshold of my tomb and gazed within. Recently she attempted entry, but my guardians foiled her. Now that you have slain my guardians, there is nothing to prevent her from returning and carrying out the will of Aurel. I do not wish to spend eternity in a cold, lightless hell. Find this Auralite and slay her. Only then will I answer you. Excellent. Be quick about the task, for even now I sense her presence within the Vale. Return to me when you have dealt with her. Until then, I have nothing more to say. However, the most profound wisdom and the most mysterious power of Kung Fu is called Qigong. Through breathing and a series of systematic movements, Qi Gong produces a type of energy called Qi. The Chinese believe that Qi, or energy, normally resides in a place they call Dantian in the lower abdomen. Once you can freely direct this energy to a particular part of the body, you can produce enormous power.
have returned. You have performed the task that I set before you? Yes, I no longer sense her presence. You have done well, and I thank you. As a reward, you may take what you find in my sarcophagus. Yes, so I did. The truth of the matter is that I do not know who is responsible. I can only assure you that it is not I, nor is it anyone in this Vale. Were it to be otherwise, I would sense it. Promised? I made you no promise, adventurer. As for your answer, knowing where your enemy is not is as vital as knowing where he is. Think upon that. Thank <laughs> you.